What's up everybody, it's Ben with 4x4teardrops.com and today we have a 5x10 vintage Trailer Works XTR white with the full Black Ops package. Uh, this trailer has the inside bunk so it's big enough to sleep a family um, and there's space up on the bunk for one if not two younger kids. So I want to show that and we'll just kind of walk through this trailer here. Um, up in the front, we got the A-frame tongue box. So one of the most common options, that way we can run power, 12 volt power throughout the trailer. Uh, this client opted for the multi-axis hitch, the lock and roll hitch. Uh, standard feature on the trailer is that adjustable coupler, so if you need to raise or lower uh, the hitch, you can. Um, they also went with trailer brakes, so that's the brake controller, uh, emergency brake controller. So basically it engages the brakes if the trailer becomes detached from the tow vehicle. Got the dual wheel trailer jack. Uh, the A-frame tongue box does lock up in the front here. Just show you that. So you got the deep cycle battery, you got the battery switch, all the battery power is turned on. With the Black Ops package, the full diamond plate in the front of the trailer is blacked out. They also went with the updated Stargazer. So this is a full polycarbonate window, stronger than our original one, bigger. Uh, they got the max air fan up on top with the HD roof rack. So. You can put a rooftop tent up there. All the trailers come standard, or the off-road trailers come standard with dual doors. And so I wanted to show you guys, this is what the bunk looks like. So it definitely opens up the space inside the trailer. It's got a little memory foam mattress up there. So it's a really nice feature if you want to sleep some younger kids. And then right here you have your voltage meter. And they opted to run the wires for an inverter. So they also got a power strip there, which will be activated if they have an inverter. Standard features, you got your little side pockets, one on each side there. There's the other door, then you got cup holders. And then they also opted for the dual uh, front wall dual reading lights. So these are just a push feature. Standard feature, like in all the other videos, you get the tri-fold mattress, folds into a queen size bed. Right there is the side table that attaches on the other side. Vents outside the trailer there for condensation buildup. They also opted for 33 inch tires. So this is what the 33s look like. They're running the standard suspension, which is the Dexter Torflex suspension underneath here. Ton of ground clearance, really heavy duty frame. All the frames are three by two 11 gauge steel. Uh, they also did do the trailer brakes. Uh, that's where that emergency brake controller up in the front was but um, they'll have brakes on the trailer load bearing jeep style fenders so you can stand on there to get up to the roof rack and then they opted for the awning bracket so they can kind of figure out and do whatever awning they want so we'll basically install them and you can pick out your own awning it's a good way to save a couple extra bucks as well spare tire then you got the rear stabilizer jacks the black ops package also blacks out that little piece of diamond plate in the rear and then they went with the base plus cabinet package which i really like because it gives you a lot of functional space so the base plus has this floating shelf up on top here 
And then you have the cabinet door of the electrical right here. And then you have the cooler slide. We're doing this new locking cooler slide, which is really nice. So it comes out here and locks automatically for you. And then in here, of course, you got your 10 gallon fresh water tank, you got your onboard charger. This is the inverter cable. So when they get an inverter, they plug the shore power, that guy right there into here, turn the inverter on, then you'll have access to all your 110 plugs. Got your shore power, which is standard. The bigger uh, water pump, because they did go with the onboard shower. Got the rear receiver hitch if they want to do bikes, things like that back there. Then on this side, this is where the side table mounts right here. You got your water fill. That right there is for the shower. And then run your shore power through there. You got the shower option, so we do that in the Pelican box here. Uh, this one came with the Camp Lux, which is really nice. Camp Lux shower. And then the other door. They're super stoked about this build. It came out really nice. I'm going to keep doing walkthrough videos as we get more trailers in town. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you want a quote on one of these awesome rigs, hit me up. But thanks for watching, guys. See you on the trails.